was a story in the news about this guy arrested in Wisconsin after he went on a bit of a uh, drunk adventure. Ooh. Drove his motorcycle drunk to a factory <laughs> where he used to work, I guess. Uh-huh. He went to the back, he drove it up on an access ramp, and then drove about 35 to 40 miles per hour through the production floor. <laughs> what? All right. And then he finally got over to the forklift area and hopped on a forklift to have some fun. <laughs> Oh my God, how fun. And after a few mm. seconds on the forklift, a worker who still works there told him to get down, called the cops. The cops came, arrested him for felony fourth offense operating while intoxicated and reckless driving. Yeah, that's no wow. joke. Jeez. <laughs> Is it like, so I guess it's worse to drunk drive a forklift maybe in a, in a I mean, warehouse it, setting maybe it is heavy well, you machinery could cause so much yeah. damage right yeah yeah but you could lift so much you, you could know, but maybe not yeah. drunk you know a trend <laughs> that i've been seeing lately if you look it up online and click the news is a lot of people driving through gyms have you noticed that oh like yeah. crashing into them yeah. yeah it's weird Going it on. keeps on popping up. You know how I don't I have a Google like, alert set for Jim. <laughs> no, <laughs> true that, but it's just like in the news a lot lately. Yeah, no, I haven't seen much of that. Although yeah. my wife and I were out at a um, like an outdoor landscape where you can find like rock and uh, you know, stone veneer and pavers and stuff like that. Right. And we were going through the uh, you know the, the yard outside, and all these guys driving around on forklifts. Picking mm. up these giant pallets of like boulders and oh, stuff, yeah. and I'm thinking, I'm like, that's so cool. So how does awesome. the back end of it not like tip I have up in no the air? No idea. Mm. Oh. I mean, I'm, it's weighted down, but that's yeah. it's crazy weighted down, awesome. But, like, that's that's so much weight that you On you got to figure sometimes the yeah. weight of what they're lifting in the front has got to be heavier than what's in the right. back. Those like, rock yards. I, I see Rule. Seabass doing the uh, yeah. genius Google. How Google. many tipping incidents are there? <laughs> we should ask if there's a place because I had to get a forklift license and I had to go through an obstacle course to like get mm. approved. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We should find like a place that we can go do that all together. That you would fun. have so much fun. Yeah. You Rules. know what else is not uh, very easy? Uh, well, as easy as you think it would be to operate. One of those uh. bobcat diggers. Oh, that doesn't look easy at all. No. Because it's just like Why two is there joysticks. So many, yeah. yeah. You know? And, exactly. Yeah. I got to uh, operate one once. Lucky. And like, man. There's hella knobs, isn't there? <laughs> there's no, there's no knobs. knobs. It's, just, it's, it's the two Lit joysticks. Knobs. You just finger the knobs. Really? On, on either I thought side, there was yeah. more knobs. No, it's on. It's just on either side, two joysticks. Oh, that looks difficult. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, it was. I mean, so you watch these guys who are like really proficient at it. Yeah. Oh, so impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you find an answer over there, c yeah, Apparently, well, number one, forklift tipping is very common. That's like the okay. number one thing you have yeah. to watch out for. Yeah, they are counterweighted in the back. Okay. By how yeah, much? Like, geez. By how a, much? By a billion megatons. So what's, what's, the, what's <laughs> the max that, like, an average <laughs> forklift can lift? Uh, between three and 4,000 pounds. Hmm. Cool. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. So Have you seen those? You just need two of them to get medicine on. Get it. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen those yes. forklifts where they don't sit? They stand up? Yeah, those are those look oh, fun yeah. too. Those are yeah. cool too. You see those like oh. in a, and they're super skinny. Yeah, yeah like Costco are, type. Uh -huh. places, you know? <laughs> they should drive those. Yeah, <laughs> want one? Home Depot and stuff. I know. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's I want to really, ride I one to work. I did drop a TV on one of those. <laughs> oh well. Oh no. <laughs>